entirely sure this is seaworthy. She will do. Give me space to work. Just bear in mind this boat can only take us part of the way. Tyr's temple is near the top of a tremendous waterfall which, sadly, we are downstream. That means even if we get there intact, we'd still need to sail up a waterfall somehow. The Vanir built the greatest ship that ever was, and it can fly. Spiefblothnir? Yeah. Because it was designed to fly, this was not. Nevertheless, this is the boat we have. Perhaps the biggest iceberg I've ever seen. At least the fire's making heat. What now? Let your father think. Just watch. They're pulling the sails down? But how are they gonna catch the wind? Stay with the boat. Can't believe it. You just made a huge sky lantern.
I said stay on the boat. Atreus. I can help? Together now. to get out of here. Face me, father. It is time to end this. Yes, my son. It is time. No. It's that voice again. Do you know who that is? I do not know. Come <laughs> on. 
How long before we reach the temple? Yeah, crazy. As long as we maintain this speed and those fires don't go out, we should be there in no time, lad.
Mustang would. Would you believe magic? Or those blades.
plan? You're both cracked! We are leaving this realm. Now! As long as we didn't wreck our way back. I think this is where Odin brought all his best clues about Jotunheim. This is Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? This is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Head. Look, clearly that's Tyr. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Hi. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. Interesting. Interesting. What is that? Secret plans concealed by Tyr so none could access but him. And those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose. Ho ho ho! I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Head? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope, and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we are the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of rooms together. Peace. Oh. Hope, other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. Boy, before when you saw. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf?
now, Head. Why did you not tell us Balder is the son of Freya? He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Balder and Freya, I... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Fred, tell me Balder's vulnerability. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Since she had my head at her mercy, back when I figured out Balder's weakness. Come here. Yes, lad? You just said you figured out Balder's weakness. Did I? But Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Uh, uh... Enough. This means there is a way. If he troubles us again, we will find it. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that... Where did you... I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Oh, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow, too. Oh, watch, watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? You don't need to. I triple quenched it with Draugr oil. See? How inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. Quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. It's just nice to see you together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, the price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Princess. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Hey, look who's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine?
I'm confused. I always heard that Baldur's mother was Frigg. Aye, Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved, something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. How so? Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. That's right! Freya was Baldur's mother all along. open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. Namir, why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the giant kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, when victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties they would prosper best in peace. <laughs> Collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik, whole again. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvik! <laughs> she says she'll honor our request. And reunite us? In Okay, you're right. So. I told you so. You are naive, foolish boy. This is true as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir.
So, why was Tyr helping Odin meet with the giant kids? He knew the giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hands they did not trust. But they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed in the best in people, and taking Odin at his word and his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magics, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. And we'll pick this up later. of the language this. to go where he can't reach. Are you saying he's trying to get to Jotunheim too? Aye. It ranks among his foremost obsessions. But that doesn't make any sense, Mimir. Oh? 
When did I stop making sense? We sent Baldur trackers down to find the way to Yodin. But that was before we knew Yodenheim is where we needed to go. That's crazy. Except for one thing. You are headed for Yotunheim, so he was right. I'm so confused. Well then, clearly you've been listening. next to Mother's Garden this whole time. No wonder we can never get in there. Okay. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Jotunheim before we did. Odin is extremely clever, you see. Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see... It's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right.
right up, brother! Atreus, to me! What did the serpent tell you when you spoke? Kinda sounded important. I'm sure it's nothing. He just said the boy seemed familiar to him. Me? That's impossible. Oh, I quite agree. Unless, perhaps, he refers to something yet to be. It is said that when Jormungandr and Thor battle at Ragnarok, their clash so violently shakes the Tree of Life that it splinters, casting the serpent backward through time, even before his own birth. What? That is madness. Well, I did say not to concern yourself. Go! 
prepare yourself. It's none of those now.
Find the edge boy. <laughs> 